go again. I hear the trumpets blow again. Oh, what a glow again. Taking a chance on love. Here I fly again. About to take that ride again. Starry-eyed again. Yes? Uh, Mr. Hodgkiss, uh, just checking food. Little worried by two things. Oh, yes. Firstly, blue bottle in cheese dip. <laughs> What's it doing here, then? Breast stroke? <laughs> Not doing anything at all, Mr. Hodgkiss. Lying on its back, legs in the air, dead, in fact. <laughs> Secondly, large black slug in green salad. That's right, they're everywhere. Should get a few screams. Yes, uh, very probably. Going to remove them. Of course I'm not. I put them there. <laughs> Gives the guests something to talk about. Helps break the ice. They're only plastic, you know. Ah, really? Yeah, well, it's a very competitive game, the catering business. You've got to have some sort of gimmick to get yourself talked about. Usually, I uh, sprinkle a few sheep and rabbit droppings in amongst the dishes as well. <laughs> well, I thought you might think that was verging on the tasteless. I don't like to seem ungrateful, Mr Hodgkiss, but uh, perhaps could do without novelties on this occasion. I see. Oh, well, it's your party, of course. No, 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 no. Exactly the point. Not my party at all. Surprise birthday party for girlfriend. Invited all her friends. Don't like to upset them. Hmm? I see. It ought to explain. Better sit down. Ah, delivery woman with birthday cake. <laughs> yes? Help you? It's happy birthday greetings I bring to you this way. I beg your favorite notice of Mr. Weston Day. And though I'm just a post box, I'll give you all I've got. Cause so much love and happiness was passing through my slot. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alison. You're not Alison, are you? No. Don't say I've got the wrong address again. Uh, no. Um, singing telegram. That's right. Thank God for that. Now, do you want me to come inside, or are you going to bring the lady out? No, I'm ordered for nine o'clock, at seven hours early. Well, not to worry yet. No, um, perhaps not. I'm um, also, um, ordered quite clearly by phone, telegram to be delivered by Roman Centurion. Ah, uh, well, I'm having problems with that one, you see. Uh, my breastplate's a bit tight and my greaves keep falling down. <laughs> but I think you'll find the lady will like this one. Yes, very possibly. Find out at nine o'clock. Yes? Hang on, do you want me to do it then? Ah, sorry, obviously not explained very clearly. Um, having surprise birthday party. Lots of things happening, tight schedule, you organised for nine o'clock. All right. Oh, right, so I'll uh, hang around outside of it then, shall I? Yes, <laughs> good, thank you. Well, my name's Barry Olcott, by the way. Oh, dear. In case you ever want to use me again, it's a good idea to ask for me at the agency by name. We're on a commission, you see. Barry Olcott it is. Right. Uh, not likely to forget that one. Good right. <laughs> yes. Um, wanted to explain something to you. Since childhood, uh, suffered from delicate problems. Like oh, to yes. tell you about it. Yes. Been persistently plagued by coincidence. Any attempt to organize events such as this, doomed to failure in consequence. So, hoping to avoid tragedy by handing entire organization over to you. Yes. Ah, at last, delivery woman with birthday cake. Just a moment. Here's happy birthday wishes. I came to you this day. I made a post of pictures on this your festive day. I'm going to the post box. I'll give you all I've got. All oh, cock. Oh, happiness was passing through my slot. Happy all cock. Yes? Not nine o'clock yet. Isn't it? Oh, my watch must have stopped. I put it right before Here, I Here, alarm it. clock set for nine o'clock. Oh, thank you. By the way, would you like to settle your bill now? Uh, save embarrassment later on. It's hardly likely going to hand money over to ignorant little Tusser. Turns up <laughs> seven hours early, persistently delivers message to wrong person. Oh, right. Uh, nine o'clock then. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Typical example. Must be hundreds of singing telegrams. Have to get one 
with wet soil between the ears. <laughs> now, uh, schedule. Party starts half past seven. Not here personally, picking up Alison. You, two main jobs. One, birthday cake ready, candles lit. Birthday cake ready, candles lit. Secondly, receive guests at door. Uh, got guest list? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll yes. that somewhere. Um, Hodgkiss. <laughs> what, what exactly is that? Right? Oh, that. Yeah, uh, well, that's just in case there's any trouble. <laughs> yeah. You don't get far in a catering game unless you know how to deal with the uh, unwanted guest. Yeah, but you needn't worry. What, what can handle kind it? of party exactly are you expecting? Oh, damned idiot! Whinging little tonk! <laughs> no idea of time! Up with his imbecile! That does it! I do two hours overtime to get it finished, spend 40 minutes on a crowded bus, walk half a mile in a pair of new shoes that have come close to crippling me, and miss Crossroads into the bargain! Well, if that's your attitude, you can take your bloody cake and you can stuff it! <laughs> Hodgkiss, um, cancel a bit about birthday cake. <laughs> She's not here yet, then. What, no, Mr. Wingent. Quite sure. I'm quite sure, Mr. Wingent. I'll be in my office. Yes, Mr. Wingent. Turned up yet? Who? Your man, Tom. He is not my man, as you put it, Sandra. Well, I just thought you said he was calling in to talk about taking you out tonight. Yes, well, it wasn't anything definite. He just mentioned that if he was free, he would. Hello? Oh, hello, Mummy. Yes, it's a lovely card. Thank you. Well, no, Mummy, I haven't tried it on yet. I'm at the library. Well, there are customers here, Mummy. I'll have to wait. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sandra. Sure everything ready for this evening? Yes. Alison suspected anything? Not a thing. This evening? Oh, but, Mummy, I was hoping to go out with Tom this evening. Oh, you remember Tom? Tom... Oh, Mummy, don't cry, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I will. Yes, I promise, Mummy. Bye-bye. Tom? Hello, Alison. Just passing by, check about this evening. Still free? Oh, yes, I've cancelled my evening class. Ah, the judo class. Still getting on well? Oh, well, it's kung fu, actually. And yes, I am quite enjoying it. And yes. I'm working at the moment to improve my mental attitude. Hate the hum stuff. <laughs> well, we try to avoid any ideological overtones, but it's that sort of thing, Tom, yes. You see, Mr. Patterson says I don't have a great deal of natural aggression, so I have to spend a lot of the lesson trying to concentrate the full force of my pent-up fury. Glad to hear it. Essential these days for women to be able to protect herself against attacks by men. Oh, yes, I suppose it is. Not that I've ever been attacked by the man, but one has to hope, doesn't one? <laughs> Pardon? But one could cope if the situation arose. I mean. Ah, yes, of course. I see. Yes. Oh. So where are we going tonight, Ray? Ah, yes. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, not... not birthday. Oh, I so. <laughs> Alison should have told me. Would have planned something. Oh, not to worry. That's for my parents. Mm. And so it is. Daddy crocheted it for me. <laughs> so, yes, it's, it's a little bed jacket. It's to match the hot water bottle cover he made me for Christmas. Well, well. Happy birthday, Alison. Enjoying it so far? Well, to tell you the truth, Tom, I'm not really what... Excuse me. Mr. Wingent? Yes, she is. <laughs> Seems rather fond of her. 
We've only known each other a fortnight, but they had shared interests. Ah. So, where are we going tonight, then? Well, several possibilities. Mm -hmm. Another meal. Yes. Idea? Thought we might just drive north. North? You... Yes. Well, yes. that sounds nice. No that direction at all? Well, no, not really. On holiday, because my parents usually went south. Ah. I suppose we're going north on the way back, but that's not really. <laughs> well, I look forward to that then, Tom. Yes. Uh, <laughs> see you then. Half an hour. All right. Right. Yes. Bye. Bye. Anything wrong, Tom? Uh, yes, um, left parcel here, Alison's birthday present. Oh, it was yours, was it? Yes. I put it under the desk for safekeeping. Yeah. Mm. Alison. Oh. Little something for you. Happy birthday. Oh, Tom. You knew all the time. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See you shortly. Magic on the note, Tom. You said you wanted to cover every inch of my body in a thousand passionate kisses. Did I? <laughs> oh, you certainly did, Tom. Which end do you want to start? <laughs> Prospect of snack in bus station buffet getting less attractive by the minute. <laughs> yes, it's not often a fellow gets an offer like that. Tom, it's not every day a girl gets given a fur coat wrapped around a bottle of champagne. No, probably not. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done it, Tom. It must have cost you a fortune. Uh, Alison, Alison, um, it seemed to be under impression gave you fur coat. Not true. Um, oh, my God, another coincidence. Happens to me all the time. What do you mean? Must have picked up wrong box in library. Shouldn't have left it out of my sight for a minute. What? You mean this isn't my fur coat? No. It's not your birthday present to me? No. Oh, then, um... That wasn't your note about the, um, <laughs> kisses and things. Wish with all my heart it had been, Alison, but, um, no. Oh, well. <laughs> well. Well, that's a relief, then. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yes. I mean, nobody likes getting presents that are too expensive, do they? I mean, this must have cost a fortune. No. no I mean, I was rather embarrassed, to be honest. Not too upset, 
Then... Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I'm just rather upset. I haven't got the present that you did buy for me. I'm sure it was a lot more exciting than a boring old fur coat. Just try to think what you'd like. Yes, I'm sure you did, Tom. What did you get then? Punch ball. What? Got you a punch ball. Knew you were interested in self-defense, you know. Oh, a punch ball sounds very lovely, Tom. Thought you could hang it up somewhere. Mm. This chap in shop said very useful for training. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Latest model, do-it-yourself job. Stuff it at home. Oh, I, I see. Yes. <laughs> If we're going down to the bus station buffet, I'd uh, better just do something a little less comfortable. Alison, why not wear it? Just for this evening. All right. At the walking here, yeah? Alison, rather a lot of cars about. What are we going for a drive? You don't know. Just drop in my place. Little drink. <laughs> Alison, we've had a thought. Um, let's give you punch ball, gave you fur coat, yes? yes? Well, must be a fellow somewhere thinks he's given woman fur coat, given her punch ball. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a laugh. It's embarrassing. Oh, they realise it's been a mistake. Probably have a jolly good laugh. <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> a punch ball? A punch ball? I mean... What sort of idiot gives a girl a sodding punch ball on her birthday? No, no, Pussy, there's obviously been some awful mistake. Well, I'll say there's been a mistake. What about this note? Thought this might come in useful, like to help you stuff it sometime. <laughs> what a mistake. Really will find punch ball useful. It could easily change. No, no, I can use it to practice my pin choice. It's a sort of a straight arm punch. So show you. Yes, why not? Right. Oh, you better hold the coat. Yes, Don't want yes, to damage yes, it. Yes, uh -huh. Now then, I have to start by building up my aggression. Yes. I hate you. I hate you. That's very good. But... Really do. Good, good. Good, isn't it? Yes. I'm beginning to see what instruction meant. Huh? What? Wonderful style, but uh, could let go a bit more. I don't want to do you any injury. No, no. Prepare to take risk. Uh, well protected. <laughs> right then. Yes. I hate you. Yes. I hate you. Yes, yes. A fur coat. Which somebody stole in the library. It's not the most convincing of stories, Terence. But it's true, Pussy. It must be. Must it? Oh, I can think of a better explanation. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Terence, do stop snivelling. I can't help it. I thought this was going to be the most wonderful day of my life. I was, I was going to give you the present and the sham, the sham, champagne, and then take you back to my. You mean you've at least got something to drink? No, it was stolen of the coat, Pussy. But it's all right. I bought some brandy to have after dinner. I what on earth is going on over there? Not nobody! You've only ever wanted me for my body! I'll never forgive you! You've used me! And now you want to cast me aside! I hate you! I hate all you! All right, all right, I know how to deal with your sort. <laughs> you winning glib tights get right up my nose. No, uh, uh, don't you worry, son. No, uh, you want to fight? You can have one with someone who's not afraid to whip uh, back. And I can warn you! <laughs> At all. Um, could use leg movement plus arm movement a little more vigorously. Oh. <laughs> 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 you think that woman is wearing my fur coat? It looks just like it, Pussy, and that girl works in the library, you see. So I suppose she must have stolen. Right. Well, we'll soon sort her out. Hang on, Pussy. Don't you think we should... Well, you know what she did to that man? Oh, you're not... Scared, are you, Terry? Not exactly. It's just that I never believe that physical violence really solved anything. Uh, maybe we should have the police, you know. You're a coward, Terence. A pathetic, cringing, runty little coward. <laughs> it's over between us, Terence. Finished. Finito. I never want to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's he all right? Yes, yes. Silly fool. Own fault. Should have kept out of the way. Sends his apology. Stop it! Get it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Tom, what's going on in there? 
wondered when you'd ask. <laughs> Miss Allison just needed a breather. Oh, that's all right, Tom. Don't worry about it. Do worry. Really wanted to give you a birthday you'd never forget. Yes, well, then you've been quite successful, in a way. I haven't even had a drink. Mm, yes, a drink would have been nice. Oh, just remembered. My father's. Huh. <laughs> this is Dad's old drinking stick. Oh, I do hope Mr. Wingent's all right. Hmm? That was his girlfriend that turned up at the party on her own. Hope they haven't had a row or something. Typical. What? You. I mean, hmm? surrounded by disaster, only one thought, welfare of best friend. Remarkable woman, Alice. Oh, Tom. <laughs> no, no, really. Out of the asco, wrong present, wrong party, no cake. Even singing pillar box turned out to be congenital halfwit. I can't help worrying about Mr. Wingent. Little things do upset him so. Punch ball, punch ball, punch ball. God, yes. God. I bring to you this way. Oh! Happy birthday, dear Alison. Happy birthday. I wonder why he does this. Why, who does what? Whoever. Up there. Always bowling mobblies. My direction. <laughs> At least he brought us together. True. Huh. Mm, I know what you mean, though. Would be nice, wouldn't it, if some of the things that happened to you were a bit more positive? Yes, nice if occasional ball, strong, off, spin, missed leg stump, went on for boundary by. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ah. We're here. Ah, yes. What are you doing? Alison. <laughs> wonderful surprise. What is uh, it? Yours. Mine? Yes. Punch boy. Happy <laughs> <laughs> birthday, Alison. <laughs> Some chance they'll be back next week. Our late movie tomorrow night sees an accountant hiring a detective to follow his wife, but he doesn't know how much fun they'll have together. Mia Farrow and Topol star in Peter Schaefer's Public Eye, tomorrow night at 11.20.